going nuts to protect kidneys and to live longer with kidney disease. That's the name of the study that we're going to be talking about and how that applies to people with kidney issues. Okay, thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Okay, glad you're here. Okay, so this piece of research from the American Journal of Nephrology in March 2022, it was published, okay? They studied people, okay? And they found people with chronic kidney disease who ate some nuts in their diet lived longer, okay? They had a less significant less chance of dying compared to people who didn't eat nuts in their diet. And why is that? It's because nuts are so nutritious, okay? They have so many good nutrients in them. They don't raise your blood sugar, okay? They have fiber. They have plant sterols that helps your heart, okay? Uh, it's got a nice mix of proteins, carbs, and uh, fats, okay? Not a lot of protein though, so if you keep the amounts of nuts small in your diet, but we're gonna talk about that, you most likely will be okay. Okay, it does have phosphorus, but as they mentioned in this piece, which I've mentioned before, phosphorus doesn't absorb very well from plant sources. So generally you don't have to worry about the phosphorus in nuts. If you are worried about it because you need to be on a lower phosphorus diet, you might have to avoid it or take a phosphorus binder, okay? There's prescription and natural phosphorus binders that you can take with the nuts because there's so many good benefits to them. But the amounts I'm gonna recommend, you generally don't have to worry about phosphorus. They also said there was very low risk of people developing hyperkalemia, high potassium, okay? So you don't have to worry about potassium because you're not gonna be eating large, large amounts of nuts. So what they recommended here was that people with chronic kidney disease have nuts between one and six times per week. Okay. Now you can almost fit in nuts if you keep the serving sizes small into any type of renal diet. If it's low protein, you generally can fit in small amounts. If you're not worried too much about your protein, you can fit it in. Now with nuts, okay, I'm going to give you the top four nuts the ones that are lowest in phosphorus, okay? Now the study didn't look at the, the different types of nuts because they just were checking people that just ate nuts in general. So you most likely can have a variety of nuts. I'm gonna give you the four lowest in phosphorus, macadamia, pecans, hazelnuts, and walnuts, okay? Those are the four lowest in phosphorus. So you can say the most kidney friendly for the most part. And if you're gonna eat them like one day a week, two days a week, you don't have to be too concerned with a serving size as long as you don't have a lot, okay? Meaning you can have one to two ounces and be okay. If you are concerned about serving sizes because you're doing a low protein or a very low protein diet, you can do between five to seven of any of those nuts um, because the five to seven nuts is gives you about a half ounce, right? Which is gonna allow you to have some nuts in your diet up to five, six days a week. Okay, I know it's not a lot, but you can break them up into smaller pieces. You can put them in things. You can add them to salads. You can just eat them as is. I tend to eat a little bit of nuts every day, keeping it to those small amounts. Um, so you want to keep those small amounts because those will generally be okay for everybody. You don't have to worry about it. If you have other nuts in your diet, try to keep the serving sizes small to a half ounce, which is like a really small, small handful. You can think of it that way. But have a little bit of nuts in your diet. It is shown so beneficial for people who have kidney issues. You're going to live longer. They provide lots of good nutrients, lots of good benefits for your kidneys. So have a little nuts, okay? The major, one of the major organizations of nephrology says you can have it one to six times a week. Um, they'll say you should ask your doctor first, but it's just food. It's okay if you keep it small. Check out all the other videos. Lots of stuff you can do for kidney health. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.